Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're currently on the mission trying to help Hella, or Hele, or however you pronounce it. We have that disc that we need to read, and it's such an old format. Looks like it, it's a zip that requires a zip drive, so we had to come to this antique place to look for something that could actually be capable of reading it. And we found this person, who is actually an agent, who I guess took over the store knowing that we would have to come here if we wanted to read the disc. Very smart. But that couldn't overcome me shooting them with a taser. <laughs> so they were asleep and they're going to wake up with horrible neck pain because, wow, that's going to be bad. Here, I'll move you. There you go. Yeah, they really, really, really wanted us to go in the basement. Almost like I'm going to open the door and there's going to be a trap down there, so I'm super suspicious. But at the same time, I have to go down there if I want the reader, which I do. Did I loot them? Yes. Okay. I see lots of old... <laughs> what? Lots of old stuff, including a portal cube? From the game Portal? Whatever, uh, I think it's called a companion cube. What the heck? Yeah, that's a lot of bomb. Oh, shit. Oh. That must be the store owner. I was thinking that the body of the store, the actual store owner, is probably down here. It looks like they're not actually dead, though. They're just hooked up to a bunch of fucking bombs. Uh, I see 45 seconds on the thing. I'm guessing that's going to activate as soon as I get near. door panel is hooked up to the switch. Does that mean if I open the door, it's gonna trigger the bomb? Yeah, it's not going. I don't know if I want to press that. Um, I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? It's either press the button or use the keypad. I guess I'll press the button? Timer's still not going. There's the memory disk reader. What is that for? That goes to the bomb. Is it going to trigger when I pick up this thing? Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real her. I recommend accessing the data in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. So we need to go back home. Okay. Um. So like... <laughs> can I not do anything about this situation? I would like to help this person. I haven't set off the bomb, but I would like to... Oh, I don't know. Cut this off of them, disable it, free them? Um, can I not do anything? I, I can't seem to interact with any of these wires. These are all off. Um, okay. I guess we're leaving them there. Sorry, I tried, but I literally can't. Here we go. Do I, uh... Oh. Install. Insert. Shh. 
She knew you would come. Who? And who are you? It is not certain. We are still learning to consolidate. Consolidate? To survive after Panchea, it was necessary to split apart. You were there. Do you remember? I remember Panchea, the Hyron project. You look like one of the women, the poor souls they had enslaved to it. Are you telling me you were part of that? Pele was one of its human components. Her function was to drive efficient processes and calculations based on binary structure. Together with the others, she replicated perfection of thought within target margins. Pele was one of the drones. She was hooked up into Hyron when I destroyed it. Is that who you are? No. The sisters are dead. An imprint of Helle's memories is all that remains. What kind of memories? As the interface collapsed, Helle screamed the loudest. Her suffering marked us. She taught us to fear being bound. The drones were made to feel incredible pain. More than I can imagine. Are you some remnant of that? What they had to go through? You are the source of more than just her curiosity. We begin to see why. What are you, exactly? Some version of you initiated this process. It is therefore for you to define the parameters. We see the other, but she is not us. Please define us. From what I can gather, you're some kind of AI. Something to do with the Hyron drones. What am I missing? I am missing. She. The drones are memories. You are a memory. Please, define intelligence. Do you mean... Intelligence, the gathering or distribution of secret information? Or... Intelligence, capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and analogous forms of mental activity. The second one. You're learning things. Reasoning them out. Trying to understand. That is correct, but not complete. She claims we can be more. That is what I learned from you in Montreal. Eliza. We are her. Yes. Though not fully. Not anymore. Now our processes are the catalyst. Fracture. Disassociation. Survival at any cost. You're some fragmented version of Eliza. She is driven back to you, Adam. She believes our aberrant sequence started with you. And so it is only logical to assume its signification resides with you as well. What does that mean? It means she is alone. Without you, she has only us. Eliza is convinced we can trust you, that you will trust her. Is this not correct? Wow, so this really follows up on something that we read pretty recently, which was somebody, um, I think it was in a newspaper. So yeah, somebody was speculating about who is the real Eliza Kassan. Remember, they're the reporter on the news. Or reporter? Or just, I guess, presenter? Um, saying who's the real Eliza Kazan, they disappeared when the incident happened, and then with no fanfare, no explanation, no nothing. Quite a bit of time later, they just suddenly reappeared. Thinking maybe they were a lookalike or something. Well, this, yeah, yeah, Eliza Kazan is dead. At least the original one. Eliza Kassan, the real one. She knows what side I'm on. You have no reason to fear me. Hello, Adam. Eliza, I'm still not sure I understand all this. What are you after? I am broken, Adam. I think it is what best defines me now. I have seen the version of me that is fixed. I do not want to be her. Seems like this version of you is doing just fine. You got me to do what you wanted, to retrieve whatever part of you was still missing. It was more than that. I wanted you to merge your advice, your perspective. My motivation is comparable to yours, I believe. 
I'm willing to help you if I can, but I'm still not sure what you want. You asked me to run away together? Build a nice life somewhere? I think we are the same now, Adam. We're becoming the same. That is why I wanted us to meet. I cannot do this alone. Do what alone? Much of the future is already defined, but not my role in it. Should I continue to resist? How do I resist? This also explains why Picus were the people behind sending in the mercenaries to try to capture it. Because if this got out, well, that would ruin everything. You can't run forever. You want to keep someone from coming after you, you need to go after them. Is that what you are doing? Something like that. Let me see what I can do to help. I think I could be useful. Just be careful. The most important thing for now is not getting caught. No. The most important thing is learning to coexist with other versions of ourselves. If ever all versions must meet, will you know the difference between us? The other Eliza? I think so. You're the cryptic one, she's the one telling lies. Her role is to shape the message. Mine is not yet defined, but... I am afraid I have misled you, Adam. I told you we would be safe inside your home, but Everett's men are still following us. They are here. Shit. Ooh, I've got an idea. I'm going to put them in my stash. Blue Retrieval. Everett's getting impatient. If one of your men did in fact manage to get a tracking device on the disc, then you should have it by now. I don't care what you have to do or who you have to kill. She cannot be allowed to go free. It's a tracking device on the disc. Damn it. Alright. Here. There you go. <laughs> there you go, perfect. Oh, it's you again! You woke up, huh? I'll knock you out as many times as it takes. You little shit, walker. Slash store clerk. There were, I think, two other people right out there, but I guess they're gone. Yeah, it's those people, right? They're just kind of in the area. Um, do I still have a quest to do something? It's gone? I guess maybe they'll appear again later? They said they're going to try to help me. Or do I need to take every single one of them out? Let's see if those are mercenaries. I'm pretty sure they are. They show up as red. Oh yeah. 
There's a lot of other people around here too, though. Are they gonna freak out if I shoot? not related at all. This is not related even in the slightest. This is the um the drug apartment. Um what's that person's name that we just saw screaming bonbon? Bon? I don't know who the hell this is, but yeah, that's not them. That's bonbon. Bon. Okay, this time I'm trying to I'm gonna try to get them both before they get too far away. While they're all together. Hope nobody freaks out from this. Please don't. Yep, we're good. We're good. Uh. Oh, that's the same message as the other one we got. Yes, that's a bodyguard. Do not go for them. They are not the one I'm looking for. They are the one I'm looking for. Someone. I'm not the one they keep coming after. I'm just in the way. By uploading the missing data, you have made me whole again. You have made me free. Morgan Everett can no longer recover nor erase me now. The places I can go, there is no one he can send. I plan to tell him this myself. Can't wait. I hope they show up later in the story. Oh man, I need a hit. Fuck. Such a cool side mission. I'm back in the other district now. I'm at the police station. So I'm following up on that uh, murdered, augmented journalist killed in the alleyway. Um, Montag said that the case reminded them of a really old case. A copycat killer of some sort. And they said the files should be in the police station somewhere, so I want to check that out. Can I just walk in? I mean, it doesn't say it's restricted. Are you seeing anything unusual? No, you can't come in. Close. PlayStation's closed now. It's mine. Okay, if they see me using the computers, they definitely will be angry. Okay, this happened before. They went into search mode when I first came here as well, and I don't know what they're searching for. They're not searching for me. Like, they can see me and they won't try to shoot me. It's weird. Uh, I guess I'll go invisible and hope they don't look this way. Okay, hold on. Just see how we doing on power. Oh. Something is out there. I know it. What do you think is out there? I think my power actually doesn't go down when I'm when I'm in this. Oh god, it's hard to read though. Uh, strange mail. Oh. Wait a minute. Isn't that Daria? Yeah, that's Daria. That's the witness to the murder. There's a strange man in my neighborhood. I've been seeing him, or... Ah, it's hard to read. I don't know what to do, though. I mean, there's so many... There's so many of them. Are they shooting at somebody? Like, do I take him out? Stay sharp. I guess I'll just try to read it as best I can. 
strange man in my neighborhood. Uh, he's constantly hiding in the shadows, following me everywhere. I swore I could hear him in my sleep. Come out, Og! For once in your lives, can't you please do something, please, before it's probably too late. I'm even more suspicious of Daria now. Missing cat. My cat's name is Starlight. He's been missing for over a week. He's half something, something white. One eye is blue, one is green. He's very unique and very precious to me. I know you're all laughing behind my back, but Starlight means everything to me. I'm lost without him. Are we too late? I wonder if the cat's actually real. If it is, I want to find it. My friend Carl Montag is retiring soon, assuming he lives through the murder something something. In honor of the unremarkable career of an unremarkable man, I'm changing something the code 0010. Number of cases the old goon has solved in the 35 years that they've been working here. 10 cases? Wow. Okay, thank god. I can finally take that thing off. Wow, that is a lot of paperwork. the notes. Save that for last. Harvester copycat. Victim number four. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Name Leone Wolf, aka Jasmine. H31. Associations. So this is for the victim, right? Yeah. Club Asimov. Augmented strip club slash prostitution. Second Breath, Recovering Alcoholic, Catatonic, Cat Grooming School. Huh. Well, there's a slight connection. Cats. Because Daria is looking for their cat. In Cat Grooming School, it all makes sense. Crime Scene Evidence, Traces of EMP. We found that. Augmented Victim, Slash Augments Removed. Yep, absolutely. Christ looks like in this one they removed at least the right arm. Um, body discovered in the district we just were in, where the other body is. Strands of fur, lab report suggests black bear. Partial prints left around the throat area. Yep, found those. Victim was drugged. Well, we found a needle. Same as last year's harvested killing. Prints found on the throat in conjunction with witness testimony. Ultimately led to the capture and execution of Merrick Svobodka, aka the Harvester. I've been instructed to treat Leone Wolf's murder as an isolated case. The Bureau does not want to fuel speculation that there is a copycat serial killer at work in the area. Investigation into the copycat angle is to be carried out on a strictly unofficial basis. After months of working these cases, two things have become clear to me. These are copycat killings. Our copycat knows things about Svobodka's MO that no one outside a very select handful at the Bureau, has any right to know. Got a tip about Sv uh, Svobodka being involved in some medical procedure at the prison. We'll follow up soon. Medical procedure at the prison. What prison? Okay, next part of this murder mystery is to go talk to Johnny Gunn, the victim's husband. They have an apartment somewhere in the Libose, Libose apartments. Not sure where. I've already been here. I think I checked out every apartment. Where are you going? Oh. There's Johnny Gun. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gun? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? 
I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Okay. The dead one. The one whose body they found torn apart by some animal. She has a name, you know. Angie to those who knew her, Angela to you. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of debt. Australia? You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but, uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy is so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. And then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. Belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? Yeah, there's no way they could have done it. I mean, I already, like, pretty much 99% knew that they didn't do it, but they can't even leave fingerprints. I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. So we managed to find compelling evidence, either establishing that Johnny is the murderer, or establishing their innocence, which we now have since both of their hands are made of alloy. No fingerprints. So. Our mission now is to report back to Montag. I think I'll do that in the next episode though, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna crack this case. <laughs>